Hey, it's Erin. You asked for it and we're bringing it. Today we're going to go through a comprehensive arm workout. Now if you think about most arm workouts, you have usually a variety of bicep curls, triceps extensions, and when you go to the gym, you do the workout, you don't really feel much. We're going to start this workout with some compound movements. So we're going to hit a couple of larger muscle groups while we're of course training triceps and biceps. This is going to up the calorie burn. It's also a bit more functional, if you will. So we're doing some body weight movements, which will also train your core. Um, but of course the main focus is on biceps and triceps. I'm actually still sore from this workout. <laughs> so, you're either going to really like me or you're not going to like me if you try the workout and you go all the way through to the finishers. We do have supersets here. So typically when you're training isolation movements, and this is just single joint movements like your biceps curls, your triceps extensions, you don't need as much time to recover in between those sets. So I've combined the biceps with the triceps in the form of supersets. It's going to save you time. It's going to keep your heart rate slightly elevated so you get a bit of cardio too and you're not in the gym training arms for an hour and a half. So without further ado, let's get in there and train some guns. <laughs> Our first exercise is a diamond push-up. Now with this exercise, a couple of things to focus on. You want to get your hands as close together as you can get them, ideally shoulder width apart or narrower. Think about keeping your elbows close to your sides, body in plank position, so you don't want to let those hips sag, spine neutral. We're looking for about three sets of 10 to 15 reps. The hands should be about under mid chest range. So you want to keep your hands back a little bit further. And if you can't complete the 10 to 15 reps, you can actually do these on your knees too. So I would suggest doing as many as you can in plank position. And here's an example of how you would do them on your knees. The upper body is exactly the same form wise. So elbows are back, hands are just about at chest height body is still in that plank position. Okay. Our next exercise is an inverted row. Now with this exercise, you want to think about bringing your body a little bit more up. So you want that bar to hit about mid chest height. So just about at the ribs, and this is going to help accentuate the biceps, underhand grip, thumbs wrapped around the bar, elbows close to the body and body in plank position. So another exercise where you don't want your hips to sag, you want to keep your body in a straight line, spine neutral, and really think about using just your biceps. Now when you're training your biceps, you can always sneak a peek at them and make sure that they're engaging. So 10 to 15 reps here too. Moving on to our first superset, we're going to be doing incline dumbbell curls with incline triceps extensions. The incline curls are amazing. What this is going to do is it's going to help take your shoulders out of the equation completely. So set your bench to about a 45 degree angle. Make sure that you have your head against the bench too. This is going to help prevent your body from coming forward and prevent those front delts from taking over. I like to rest the back of my arm on the bench. So this provides some stability and does not allow for use of momentum and bringing the dumbbells out just a little bit. And this helps me get that really fluid range of motion, spending not so much time at the bottom, not so much time at the top. So really using gravity to keep that constant tension on the muscle. We're going to go right into incline triceps extensions. Now with this exercise, really focus on performing it exactly the same from left to right, because you have a dumbbell in each hand. This is not easy to do. You want to think about keeping your upper arm perpendicular to the floor. And the only hinge is the elbow here. So everything else should stay relatively still. And you're just moving the weight with your triceps. So three sets of 10 to 15 reps for both of these here. And again, we're performing them back to back. Make sure you keep your elbows close to your head. So don't let those elbows flare out too far. 
and really keep that tension on the muscle. So focus, especially as you get tired and don't let the dumbbell swing. Moving on to our next superset, we've got rope biceps curls and rope triceps pushdowns. Now the biceps curls, these are high curls. So again, the elbow is the hinge. Think about keeping your upper arm completely still. So you want it about parallel to the floor, maybe a bit higher, wherever it is, just stick with it right there. And just picture your upper arm kind of sitting on a shelf. So you're not moving it, you're just moving the weight with your biceps. I'm using a neutral grip here, thumb wrapped around the rope, and sort of think about it like a face pull if you want. Or just pulling it to about forehead height. Rest of the body stays nice and still. So we're just focusing on those biceps. And we're gonna go straight into those triceps pushdowns. Weight is distributed evenly throughout the foot. Soft knee, this is gonna help absorb any shock. Elbows are close to my sides here. And I'm thinking about pulling the, the rope down and simultaneously pulling it out as I get my arms fully extended. So think about pulling the rope down and out and resist the rope going backwards or back up to the top. So you're resisting both ends, keeping that tension on the muscle. Especially as you get tired, focus on keeping that upper arm immobilized. Moving on, we have our first burnout. So this is the oh, getting close to the end of the workout. This is a partial biceps curl. So you're gonna grab some dumbbells and sit at one of those half benches where the seat is about 90 degrees or the back of the seat is about 90 degrees. And you're gonna extend your legs just a little bit so you can get just a little bit more range of motion here. So I want you to think about barely touching your upper leg and keeping continuous movement on those biceps. So I want you to keep going. We're gonna do just one set here and you're gonna do as many reps as possible. I love doing burnouts with isolation work. So we're just working on the biceps here. Give it all you've got, we're going right to failure. Saving the best for last. Close grip push up, <laughs> this is our burnout. And I want you to set that bar at about hip height and give me as many reps as you can possibly do. Think about keeping your shoulder blades back and down and don't let them squeeze together. So I want you to think about keeping your body in plank position, keeping everything else nice and tight. As you fatigue, bump that bar up just one notch. And we're gonna do as many reps as possible at this higher level. So this is easier, but of course the triceps are starting to fatigue so it is not going to feel easier. <laughs> now I want you to really concentrate keeping that body in plank position, keeping those elbows in, keeping that back nice and wide. Bump it up one more time. Same thing. This of course is extremely easy. If you were to walk over and just do it, it wouldn't be anything at all. But at the end of the workout, at the end of a burnout, this is gonna be brutal, but push through it. You do as many reps as you can possibly do. Don't forget to breathe and pay attention to the rest of your body. Keep it in plank position. Push, push, push. And when you fail, that's it. Good job. <laughs> if your goal is to grow your arms, keep in mind that any pulling and pushing movements with the upper body, you're gonna be hitting your biceps and your triceps. So if you have a dedicated back day and perhaps a dedicated chest or shoulder day, you are training your biceps when you're training back and you're also training triceps when you're training chest and shoulders. Now with your back training, if you really wanna hit those biceps, try to use an underhand grip. That's when your palms are facing your body. This is going to help accentuate the use of biceps. And if you don't want your biceps to kick in as much when you're doing back, of course you can use a neutral grip or an overhand grip and false grip can help too. So you wrap your thumbs um, on the same side as your fingers.
If you try this workout and you really love it, please tag me on social media. I really enjoy seeing you take the workouts and making them your own. If you wanna join the Fit Fam, please like this video and subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of the family. Thanks for watching. Until next time, train hard, y'all.